Hi, this is Rich Powell from ClearPath. Modernizing our nation's nuclear sector is one of the most vital tasks to ensuring our electric grid has plenty of zero carbon flexible power as we address climate change in the coming decades. It is also essential for us to remain competitive against Russia and China in offering American nuclear technology around the globe. That task isn't an easy one. Future nuclear reactors will need to be smaller, more flexible, cheaper, and more widely deployed. They'll be much different than what we see today. Given the heavy regulatory burden we've placed on the nuclear industry and the upfront costs of nuclear innovation, a partnership between the public and private sectors is essential to innovating in this space. One idea worth following closely is the Nuclear Energy Leadership Act, or NELA. In order to make a big new public-private nuclear moonshot work, we need a few key components. First, a strategic plan to scale up the technology at the Department of Energy. Second, a big, bold goal to demonstrate multiple advanced reactors in multiple stages over the coming decade. Third, a test bed for developing that reactor technology. Fourth, an ability for the federal government to buy the power from some of these reactors to get the first few planned and financed. Fifth, a sufficient supply of advanced nuclear fuel so we can run the reactors. And sixth, a strong nuclear workforce of world-class experts to run the plants. The carefully crafted NELA legislation takes on every one of these priorities. NELA would require the Department of Energy to develop a 10-year strategic plan that supports advanced nuclear R&D. It would then direct DOE to establish specific goals to align the federal government, national labs, and private sector in efforts to accelerate advanced nuclear technologies. NELA also provides for nuclear testing infrastructure by directing DOE to construct a fast neutron research facility that will be used to test reactor components and demonstrate their safe and reliable operation. Currently, the only machines capable of producing an adequate fast neutron spectrum are located in Russia and China, forcing our innovators to travel to nuclear competitors to test their designs. The bill also initiates a pilot program for power purchase agreements between the DOE and utilities to procure advanced nuclear power and other sources of advanced clean energy like next generation renewables for that matter over a time span that would realistically allow for project financing. Today, the U.S. does not have an ability to produce advanced nuclear fuel, often called HALU. NELA establishes a program to provide a minimum amount of HALU to U.S. advanced reactor developers from DOE sources as a bridge until the private sector develops a sustainable long-term supply. The final portion of the bill reauthorizes nuclear engineering scholarships to maintain a robust pipeline of nuclear engineering talent. The best policy solutions to climate change will enable the U.S. to innovate ultra-low emission technologies that are also affordable, flexible, and highly scalable, so we can build them quickly both at home and across the rapidly developing world. NELA is a noteworthy addition to an increasing array of options under examination by the Department of Energy, Congress, states, and private industry to advance next-generation nuclear power in the U.S. It should be tracked closely. Thanks for watching.